Boy, you had me from the start. By the way, you said the got a package. We just got a package. I feel like um Blues Clues and whatever the guys, Steve, I think, whenever like they got a package, this is how I feel because I've been waiting for this package from my first wig for way too long. I purchased the wig on June 27th. I received confirmation shortly after saying that they had received my order and that I would receive a tracking number when it was shipped between, I think it said, I wanna say eight to 10 business days or five to seven business days, I don't remember. Um, I never heard from them. So eventually, um, maybe a week and a half ago, I emailed them like, hey, where's my wig i haven't even received like a shipping because by then when i emailed them i should have had received like the shipping notification a few business days passed by i think it was maybe like two to four business days passed by or two to three because i emailed them on a friday and i think i heard back from them on a wednesday um and they're like oh we're so sorry we just shipped it express and we um basically they were saying that they paid more money to like ship it fast but i still feel like that should not be an issue because it should have been shipped already even though i like paid for regular shipping because the shipping time frame should have been happened already but okay and then i received a second email from them saying that they included like free gifts um for the inconvenience so they included some wig conditioners which i appreciate but i wonder like if you've ever purchased from my first wigs don't they include free gifts anyways and there's a brush but i feel like every time i buy a wig from any wig website whether it's like um love me and there's a couple other wig websites. I don't remember their names right now, but anytime I've ordered a wig, I've always gotten like a free hairbrush. I have so many of these and like a stocking cap. So I don't feel like that part is special. Um, and then they gave me a coupon code. I thought it said for 40% off, but it said for $40 off, but I won't be ordering another wig from them anytime soon. And then just like a lot of these conditioners so i don't know if these are regular gifts that they're trying to pass on as free gifts or if they're really free gifts but i'm gonna give them the benefit of a doubt and then the wig cap in here um okay it's smelling it's smelling very synthetic hmm I'm going to wash my hair tomorrow possibly and put it on and then I'll see because right now um, it's smelling very synthetic and to me it's also I'm gonna show you guys maybe I'm wrong to me it also looks like synthetic does it look synthetic to you I don't know I don't know I do like um, that this band is like super, super thick. And I like that it's kind of like a bra strap kind of band because some of the bands are not thick enough. And then um, I like that it doesn't look like it's too big because some of these wigs, I mean, why, what am I even trying to do? Because I'm going to have to cut this part off. But some of these wigs, like they just be so humongous. But I don't know, I feel like this might be too too small for my head. But maybe once I cut this part off, but I don't know if I want to cut it off because I feel like this top of the wig looks like human hair. But the under layer is giving synthetica. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, you know what? I'm just going to risk it and... Um, I'm gonna wash my hair tomorrow. I'm gonna cut this part and then when I apply it, I will see how it looks. But I hope that it looks, you know, good because I've heard like mixed reviews about my first wig. But 
I wanted to give it a try because like I said before, I want to cut my hair into like a Lori Harvey bob. But then I'm like, I'm not sure if that really fits my face structure or what. So I feel like I want to lose some weight first and then do the haircut. But if I like how this wig looks on me, then probably before the start of this school year, I will um, get my hair dyed and go for it but yeah this is this is it y'all i can't wait to apply this thing and flat iron it and see because on youtube there were some really good videos by a lot of influencers but you know how that goes sometimes the influencers i feel like the wigs they get the wigs they get um it's not the same wigs that the company sends to people when people order it. So I hope that's not the case because I really want to like this wig. And I really want to order a U-part wig from them. So, alright, I'm so nauseous. I'm about to have um, a seltzer water and I have to leave the house in the next 40 minutes. So I'm about to cook dinner really quickly. Bring my son to his activities. And then um, by the time we come back home we'll have like dinner ready to eat. I might just prop the camera as I cook. I actually saw this recipe on Trophy Douglas's. Wait, is her last name Douglas? I don't remember. Trophy, Trof Dolph. I saw this recipe on Trof Dolph. Um, that's a YouTube YouTuber and um, she made like a lo mein and I feel like I've been cooking the same things in rotation and looking for inspiration. So I did some groceries and now I'm about to make it. Go through what I got at the grocery store. Strawberries for my daughter. Cottage cheese. I want to put some in my eggs so I can get more protein. Um, some more oats because the other day I made granola and I would like to do that again. Some salad fixing which I will put some in the granola and then I will also put some in the salad. The guy that was ringing me out, he was like, $7.99 for a Greek yogurt? I'm like, well, this is a big thing though. And I eat yogurt like every day, trying to make sure I get my protein intake. Um, pancake mix. I was going to get the Kodiak pancake mix and this one. Um, I'm not using noodles, like lo mein noodles. I'm going to use linguine to make my noodles creamy peanut butter i can put in the granola mix and then um monster no this is monterey jack cheese some lime juice i like putting lime juice and olive oil in my salad and let me get the other bags um lettuce because i need to eat more salad and just more greens Mushrooms, I want to put these in my omelet. Well, I want to make an omelet. Bananas, my daughter loves bananas. And occasionally I like to have bananas. Um, scallion or green onions for the lo mein. And then another day I'm going to do um, stir fry, stir fried rice. Um, some bell peppers. Carrots. I want to start doing steamed carrots for my daughter, but I'm going to see if she likes them first before I go crazy purple cabbage because I can cook it and I also like eating it raw um what are these peaches peaches my husband seems to like taking them to work I also saw this recipe where this girl she like froze a peach and then she used a grater and she grated it and she put it over some Greek yogurt and um, I think she put a little bit of like granola and fruits and it looks really good. Tomatoes for the salad. All right, I have two more bags. I'll be right back. Those and waffles because my son likes them. And when I don't feel like spending too much time on making breakfast, I also like just popping them in the air fryer. Um, plain rice cakes so I can eat with peanut butter. A um, split turkey breast. I can make sandwiches for my son with it and also I can just chop it up for my daughter. I think my husband also likes turkey breast. Um, these spicy black bean burgers are really good. They're not spicy, but they're good. And even my daughter likes eating them too. Salmon because why not? All right, I have one more bag. We're at our last bag. This is eggs. I eat eggs almost every day and 
My baby girl also likes eggs. Some shrimp so that I can make the stir fry with um, or the lo mein stir fry with. Uh, breakfast sausages. I want to see if my son and my daughter like them. Banana bread, my son picked it out. Spinach, you know, I want to get my iron intake. But it's also not good to eat too much spinach because I think it's like one of the dirty dozen. Don't quote me. But I saw somewhere that it wasn't good to eat too much spinach. Um, blueberries. This mac and cheese is going to be my daughter's dinner because the stir fry is going to have too much sodium in it because of the soy sauce and the oyster sauce. Cheese. Um, red beans. I want to make... Oh, and also a can of coconut milk because I want to make um, rice and peas and I like putting coconut milk in it. And then black beans because I want to do a salmon bowl. Oyster sauce. I already have soy sauce for the stir fry. Some more broccoli. I have broccoli in my fridge, but my baby likes broccoli. So I got some more. And then cauliflower. I think I'm either going to make cauliflower rice or um, make cauliflower wings, but we'll see how I feel because it's so hot in this kitchen and I don't like being in this kitchen cooking for too long. Now I have, now I have 33 minutes to be out of the house. So let me put the lo mein or let me put the noodles in the water and put away the groceries. I will see you guys in a few minutes. <laughs> Well, you had me from the start By the way you stared, the way you rode up on me yeah, yeah. Man, I felt your energy Wasn't used to being loved and treated differently yeah. But something went wrong The signals got crossed And now we're on completely different pages Guess where I am? I'm back at Nissan. Hopefully they don't play around with me this morning because they said, and I quote, that they would have a car available for me to use. So hopefully that is the case because they will have to pay for an Uber to bring me home because I told my husband that he did not have to get up and um, come get me at home with the baby. So hopefully that is the case, but they're about to walk to my car. I'll talk to you guys later. Right. So all of that is to say is that this is really cool and I'm happy that I got to be able to drive, you know, basically the same car that I have and everything else in here is like the same. But I'm about to go into the gym, work out. It's teen. I'm about to go work out and come out by like 10.50 because I want to go home and just plan my life. And also I want to start like budgeting again. I was doing it and then I took a break from it and... um I want to get back in my budgeting bag. I have a template. Uh, yeah, I have a couple templates that I had downloaded before the end of the school year. I would like to sit down and just, I won't do all of it today. I already know myself, but I want to sit down for at least like 30 minutes today and just like work through a budget. And I'm thinking about doing like a zero base budget and um, I'll talk about more about that later on when I'm doing the budgeting at home because I want to go in and work out and be out. All right, talk to you guys later. Lunch and it's super late, it's 5 p.m. I'm about to have a salad with tofu, some nuts and some cranberries. For tofu, I only get organic, extra firm. I'm gonna put a paper towel on it um, and then put something heavy on it to kind of soak up the extra moisture good morning it's almost 8 30 i am getting my lunch ready because i'm going to be chaperoning my son's field trip today i'm also making myself some eggs and cottage cheese i know it sounds weird but don't knock it till you try it you just put two eggs in a bowl add some cottage cheese mix it in put it in a skillet and it tastes so good the eggs are very very fluffy for lunch, I'm making myself a salad um, to bring with me. This is what it consists of. Just some lettuce, um, bell peppers, tofu left over from last night, some blueberries. I would really love to bring um, my granola mix with me, but the granola, I added peanut butter and we cannot bring any peanuts. 
um but i think i should be good if i eat the eggs with cottage cheese and then um i'll probably have like a toast on the side i should be good and full um until lunchtime and then when i get home i'll have some of the um granola with um greek yogurt that i've been having but yes and i just redid my braids this morning i did um two smaller braids on the side and then two bigger braids in the back and then it goes into a bun i was hoping that the hair store would open because i want to get like the little gold clips to add like a couple clips throughout here i was inspired by um this youtuber to do my hair like this and i love it like i'm not using a tripod so sorry if it's shaking it's so hot outside y'all so i've been going to the gym every single day and having my hair just like this is way more easier than having like box braids it's just way too hot i think this is gonna be my summer style um and then on the days that i want to have like a little extra pizzazz i'll do like a bun or i'll do some wigs some like short wigs but um i like this it's not bad all right i'll talk to you guys later Overall, I had a really fun time at the field trip and to think I wasn't even sure if I wanted to chaperone because I'm like, you know what, I'm off for the summer. I want to enjoy my day off like I have plans because I typically drop my son off at camp and then um, I go to the gym and then I go home. I eat breakfast. I spend time with my husband and my daughter. So I have like, you know, my schedule, you know, plan for the day and then I relax and then I go get him so I wasn't sure if I wanted to give that up to chaperone but I'm happy that I did and also I wasn't sure if I wanted to partake um, because they went to a place where they do like climbing and zip lining and I am terrified of heights um, but one of the workers there, she wasn't feeling well, so she didn't want her ticket and her ticket had already been paid for. So if you're chaperoning, you don't have to pay, but if you're chaperoning and you want to participate, you have to pay extra, but her ticket, since she's a worker, was already paid for by the camp and she wasn't feeling well and she also had her baby with her. So she gave me her ticket and I got to you know participate and have fun for the days i'm happy i went even though when i got to the last part you have to go through like different obstacles and then you get to a zip lining section for you to get down i was terrified i have a big like welt you can't really see it but you can't whatever i have a big welt on my arm because i was like having a hard time figuring out where to put my hands on top of the zip line metal thing whatever it's called and then um i let go but i wasn't moving anywhere because one of my arms was over the rope and i had went like a little bit and then it stopped and it made like this big welt on my hand and like this kid behind me who was not part of our camp he was like just go already and i'm like okay slow your horses but everyone like that were like down on the ground, they were cheering me on, like parents and other people that were this there with their kids. Um, so one of the volunteers at the camp, she was like, just let go and let God. And I was like, you know what, mama, you are right. So I let go and I let God. And overall, I had fun and I'm happy that it was something that was scary, but I went through with it. And this is not real. This is um, a faux nose piercing but i love myself with a pierced nose i feel like that's like the pizzazz that i've been wanting but um a couple times i've had my nose pierced three times before and all three times i've gotten a keloid and i've been telling my husband i'm like i want to get my nose pierced again and he's like really you haven't learned your lesson the keloid was like on my right side but i was able to like push it down now you can't tell that i had a keloid or any scarring or anything in my nose and now i'm like well what if i get it done on my left side so it's like really you haven't learned your lesson but i just love myself with my nose pierced and i went to the hair store um, i was telling you guys this morning that i did this like hairstyle right here with the four braids and i went to the hair store because i wanted to get um to the hair store because i wanted to get these um gold clips can you see the clips my hand is everywhere i wanted to get these gold clips um 
so that I can put like four clips in my hair. And when I went to the hair store, the guy, I asked him like, what was the minimum to be able to use my card? And he said at least $5. And I happened to see these on the counter. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna get the gold clips. I'm gonna look to see if there's one that I like. Um, and then I got these little barrette things for my daughter's hair, just to add a little pizzazz to mama's hair. And then um, I've been using these um the little black like rubber bands that i have like their hair rubber bands but i don't like using them because every time i go to use them in her hair like they get all stuck when it's time to take them off and i don't want to um cause her like hair damage or hair loss over time so i got some of these to do her hair um but yeah overall it was a good day tomorrow i'm chaperoning again um we're gonna be going to an amusement park and i have to bring my baby so i'm kind of like i don't know how this is gonna go but we'll see where there's a will there's a way and um i also have to chaperone tomorrow because my son has his activities in the evening and um they wouldn't be the campers wouldn't be getting back until 6 30 and that's not gonna work because he has his activities in the evening if i chaperone then we'll leave the place around like three or four get home get some rest and then he can get ready for his um evening activities that he has but anyways let me get in the house because i'm hungry chaperone for my son's camp again and today we went to an amusement park i didn't really have much time to film because a i had to watch the kids and the group that i was with it was two of us two adults with a group of five kids and also i had my baby with me so it's like a little bit cranky in the beginning because i kept like trying to get her to go into the water and she wasn't feeling it so i didn't really have that much time to like film and like talk like i thought i would be able to do but look y'all i got a tan look Look y'all, I got a tan. I applied sunscreen multiple times, but the sun did not come to play with me, so I don't mind. Tired, I have to still take my son to his activities, and all I wanna do is take a shower and lay down, because it was a rough night. Like, my daughter was so cranky last night, crying. Every time I put her down, she kept waking up and crying. I had to hold her on my chest to make her go back to bed and then when i would like try to move her off me she would start crying so i had a really rough night and then i chaperone and then now i have to take him to his activities and i just want to sleep oh it's okay you know mothers they do it my husband does it too but today's my day to take him well you had me from the start by the way you stare, the 